It's genuinely great to see a game running straight off on Steam Deck, Steam OS, but to run this good and look this good as well, I really have to take my hats off to the developers on Disney Speedstorm. This game overall is just actually epic. The soundtrack is just absolutely phenomenal. The graphics are absolutely perfect for the Steam Deck. The gameplay is tight, it's fast, it's furious, and it's absolute mayhem which is just what you want from this type of card racer. Unfortunately, it is going to be free to play, so that means there's going to be some microtransactions. And this is with Gameloft, so you could expect it to be running this good because they are very adept in the mobile world. But the only way into the game at the moment is to get a Founders Pack. This will be free to play once it leaves early access, but if you want in now, and a lot of people already have got in, you will need one of the three Founders Packs, with the cheapest starting at around £25. Now, as you saw there, you're getting a good 60 frames per second in the in-game campaign, and that is also quite a lengthy campaign, so you're going to have a lot of time offline on this. And after you've done about three or four races, you can get into the multiplayer. Now, there's two forms of the multiplayer. There is the regulated multiplayer, which is kind of the unranked version, but just for fun, which seems to be the most chaotic and certainly has the most players in right now. This is the pure chaos that you've been wanting online unpredictable fun and this does push the deck quite a bit as you can see we're getting dips down into the 50s and 60s there are no graphics options on this so there is nothing to tweak at this time so you can just hope for a bit of optimization however those dips down to the 50s and 60s you're really not going to notice them because you're so fixated on trying to stay on the track and take down your opponents that those dips really aren't that noticeable now you could cap this at 40 frames per second if you want to keep it super stable but i think the dips down into the 50s is well worth actually leaving it as it is you can see on the wattage as well we're sitting around the 23 mark so you're going to get a good two to three hours battery life out of this if you're out and about with it sitting considerably lower in the offline campaign obviously with everything going on online with a multiplayer it does take a bit more effort to keep everything up to date now that's the unranked multiplayer you will be pleased to know that the ranked multiplayer does also work just fine and again you're going to be dipping down into the 50 frames per second range so it really does depend on what's going on there are so many effects in a lot of the weapons and just the general effects because you're spending a lot of time sliding and boosting but that drop in frames per second is going to be less noticeable because you're probably going to be slowing down when you're crashing anyway that's the only time you're really going to be looking up it frames per second. I hope this doesn't get completely ruined by microtransactions because it is just fun to play and you can level up quite easily for free. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this one and hopefully we'll see you on the track.